What's going on everybody? This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about the political climate in Arizona with November 6th coming right up here. Uh, it's November 4th right now, 2018. There's about to be an election that's taking place. Not the presidential election, but you know, the House could change, right? So there's a battle for Senate, Congress, all that jazz, and propositions. Um, so one of the things that we're going to discuss is the common misunderstanding that Arizona is predominantly Republican. Now, Arizona historically has voted Republican, but if you just look at the sheer demographics of, of the state of Arizona, you'd be surprised. So this coming straight off K -Star, KTAR, which is a, a really popular uh, broadcasting company here in Arizona or in Phoenix, there are more than more registered Democrats than Republicans in Arizona's District 1. According to voter voting registration data recently an, analyzed by Data Orbital in the area, 36.6% of voters are Democrat. Now here's the here's the kind of the caveat. 31.7% are independent and then 30.9% are Republican. 0.8% or 0.8% uh, other. So that whole other party doesn't really matter, but independent is where the where the real battleground is, right? And so um, it, most of those independent voters tend to lean towards Republican, right? And that's why Arizona has historically kind of been a uh, a, a red state, right? Um, but Phoenix probably more liberal than uh, some of the uh, rural areas, but this this is just something to keep in mind. Now, um, the U.S. the U.S. state of Arizona is home to Senators Jeff Flake, John Kyle, and it was the stronghold for John McCain, where John McCain held the position for quite a long time. And now we have this election coming up, where um, you know there, it could go either way. Uh, Arizona could end up eventually going, you know, Democratic for the first time in quite a while. Um, but if you look at the history, I mean, it's, it's, there was a period where Democrats kind of had a moment there, but, uh, right now the last two governors in Arizona, Jan Brewer and Doug Ducey, both Republicans. So from about 2009 to present, um, we've had Republicans before that it was Janet Napolitano. She was, she was actually a Democrat. Then before her, we had uh, Jane Hall and Fife Symington. For those of you who remember Fife, <laughs> I remember Fife Symington, right? And then, um, yeah, so Secretary of State, again, uh, especially here recently, the last five sec Secretary of States were Republicans. Prior to that, there was a Democratic stronghold, uh, in particular with Wesley Bolin. He was in there. So, um now, why does why do Arizona citizens tend to lean right and not go left, especially here recently? And a lot of it has to do with the uh, immigration concerns that Arizona, being a border state, has. So the citizens of Arizona are very much caught up in the immigration battle that takes place uh, with, you know, so to speak, illegal aliens. The um, the Republicans took more of a strong stand against that, so it did become an issue in the 90s and early 2000s, mostly driven by drug activity. So, um, also Mexico's inability to develop a strong economy forces people in Mexico to have to leave. And then when they come to the United States and they get a taste of American life, they don't want to go back to Mexico because the economy just isn't very strong. So, strong American economy and drugs kind of uh, were the two factors that created this uh, illegal immigration issue. So America or Arizona, because of that, has, has kind of sided with the Republican Party because of immigration. Um, I would say Arizonans do have a tendency to be more conservative than like California, say, in terms of uh, social policy like abortion, uh, gay rights. I would say that it's they're no longer as conservative as they once were. They're more liberal, but again, it goes back to the whole immigration thing. So this is kind of where 
the the part the 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 candidates in Arizona, left and right, Democrat and Republican, kind of have to pick and choose their battles with how they're going to uh, take a p- stance on immigration. It's not that Arizona is a. I think that a lot of people that I talk to, they have nothing against uh, Mexico or Mexicans. Many of them go down to our beach, which we call it our beach, which is Puerto Penasco, Rocky Point. It's the fact that there was a high element of crime that was coming in associated with that because of the um, drugs. You know, anytime you got people on drugs, it doesn't matter where they come from, right? It's just a problem, whether it's meth heads in the trailer park or uh, meth heads, crack heads in the middle of downtown or anyone who's participating in the drug element is typically a toxic nuisance to society. And Mexico, because there was so much money being made with it, a lot of Mexicans in the, in a poor economy were being drawn into the drug cartels. And a lot of them didn't even have a choice because that was really where the only real money was. So it was more than, it was like they were forced into drug, uh, uh, culture and then once they get in it's really hard to get out uh, even if they were uh, traditionally because cons- Mexico really is traditionally conservative also now uh, so the drugs playing a big factor in why the state of Arizona tends to lean right uh, if you also want to look at some of the other issues that uh, really drive Arizona voters to uh, go right they tend to support the military pretty heavily. Um, the military is a big thing. Veterans, uh, a lot of Arizonans support the military pretty strongly, whereas in some states it's, you know, not as friendly anymore. Arizona is still very friendly towards military personnel. Um, it's a hot state <laughs> and, you know, the economy is driven by some of these other factors like tourism and stuff that tend to be more um, middle of the row, who's going to be more favorable economically with tourism and stuff like that. So you have all these different elements, but most, for the most part, it really, in Arizona, the battleground is over immigration. And you cannot take away the fact that a lot of Hispanics do the work that people who are in, um, American born do not want to do. So Mexicans come over here and do a lot of that work and it is a broken immigration system. There needs to be a process where um, people who are going to work here and they're going to pay taxes and this and that, but they shouldn't have to live in fear, especially if there's a demand for their labor. And so this is, this is something that's been ongoing. It's obviously no easy fix because if it was, it would already been fixed. But at the end of the day, Mexicans are not bad people, okay? But... The, Arizona, the people in Arizona have a problem with illegal immigration um, because of uh, the way that the immigration system set up. Um, anyways, guys, just wanted to go over this and talk about this.